Because because I'm going to start from the very beginning when when he when they flew our planes into our buildings. I'm ready. Because that's kind of where it all started, you know. Hi, my name's uh, Kenneth Ellis, and I'm the father of an Iraq War veteran that was shot and killed by Albuquerque police here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm here to tell you my story. And it starts on 9/11, September 11th. They flew our planes into our buildings, and, and my son got really upset about that, as most of the country did. He decided that he was going to go join the war, and he was going to go do something about it. You know, you don't mess with my my fellow Americans was his take on it. And uh, so he, he put his welding career on hold, and, and he went and joined the military, and went, went to war, and was in five different IED explosions while he was in Iraq. And the fifth one... Uh, blew his battle buddy up all over him. So he had post-traumatic stress uh, to the nth degree. I mean, he was really, really uh, traumatized by, by having his battle buddy blowed up all over him and couldn't sleep at night, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, so he was in an in, 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 in in-house program at the VA and they uh, kicked him out of the post-traumatic stress disorder program at the Veterans Administration and three days later he was shot and killed by the police. Well, the whole scenario with what happened with the police where the police were conducting a tactical plan in the area up there and they were looking for car thieves and my son pulled into their perimeter that they had set up in a nice uh, 1975 convertible Corvette that I had just given him. And uh, that was a red flag for them apparently and they, they got after him and cornered him at the, at the 7 to 11 on Eubank and Constitution and uh, the policeman rammed his patrol car into the back of the Corvette and shoved that fiberglass bodied car up into the curbing and, uh, and, and escalated the situation from the get-go. Um, my son, uh, prior to that, you know, we had uh, asked uh, the Albuquerque police to come and help us with him because he was still acting like he was in the war and they came and they beat the crap out of him, put him in jail. And so the reason I'm telling you that's because when they pulled him over at the VA, he climbed out of the car and put a pistol to his head and picked up the phone and called his mom and says, Mom, they're surrounding me. I don't know why. I don't know why they're here. I don't know what I've done wrong. So uh, he, he, he had actually uh, was calling his mom to come and help him get arrested, uh, you know, peacefully. And uh, about that time, a uh, shot was fired out and an officer shot and killed my, shot, killed my son, shot him in the neck. And, uh, and and dropped him like an animal and then uh, went over and put handcuffs on him while he's convulsing and bleeding out. So if that's not tragedy enough, uh, I'll, I'll skip ahead a little bit. Six months later, a canine officer dog got shot in the neck. They did first aid and saved the dog's life. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really upset about this whole scenario. Um, you know, my son didn't have to die. They, they didn't, their paramilitary training and their... Uh, going after people is, is not right. We have constitutional rights here that are being violated and being trampled on. This police department here in Albuquerque has shot 25 young men in the last, uh, in the last two years. And that's, that's four times the national average. And, and we have this problem here in Albuquerque, which is systemic, but we have the same problem clear across this country. We have officers in, in different municipalities that are shooting people without having just cause to use deadly force. They're not following the, their, the, the rules. They're not following the standard operating procedures, the rules of engagements, the code of color uh, statues. Uh, they're just trampling all over our constitutional rights and, and, and it's, it's a disrespect to our, to our, to our country, to, the, to the, all the veterans that laid their lives down to, to, to protect our freedoms and stuff. This police department is just disregarding all of our constitutional rights and all of, all the things that the veterans have come to do for us and uh, so it's a it's a travesty ab above uh, and beyond uh, explanation it's just uh, so since this has happened I've, I've uh, became activist in the community and I'm uh, been very uh, uh, <sighs> very determined to bring justice to my son's name
your readiness My mama's sitting there Looks like I only got one way to get over here I sure wish I could give you one more kiss And war was just a game we played when we were kids Well I'm laying down my gun And hanging up my boots I'm up here with God and we're both watching over you So lay me down In that open field out on the edge of town And oh my soul Is where my mama always prayed that it would go if you're reading this, I'm already home If you're reading this, halfway around the world I won't be there to see the birth of our little girl I hope she looks like you, I hope she fights like me Stands up for the innocent and the weak Well, I'm laying down my gun And hanging up my boots Tell Dad I don't regret That I followed in his shoes So lay me down In that open field out on the edge of town And oh my soul Is where my mama always prayed that it would go If you're reading this I'm already home If you're reading this Come a day when you move on and find someone else, and that's okay. Just remember this I'm in a better place.